This week, Kathleen Burns Kingsbury is here for a guest takeover of the One Minute Retirement Tip. I'm very excited because this is really a unique topic. And through her podcast, which is called Breaking Money Silence and several books on financial and wealth psychology, Kathleen's mission is to empower women, couples, and families to shatter money taboos and communicate more effectively about finances. So this week, she's here to give you a foundation in what she calls breaking money silence. So you can talk more openly about money with your spouse and your loved ones. Now, if you like her tips this week and you want to hear more from Kathleen, be sure to check out her podcast, which is called Breaking Money Silence. You can catch that wherever you listen to podcasts. Without further ado, here is Kathleen's daily dose on Breaking Money Silence. Hi, this is Kathleen Burns Kingsbury, and I am very honored today to be able to talk to you about Breaking Money Silence on Couples and Retirement. First, let me tell you a little bit about who I am. I am a wealth psychology expert, author, keynote speaker, coach, and actually a host of my own podcast called Breaking Money Silence. I'm excited to talk to you about my passion around helping individuals, couples, and families talk more openly and honestly about money. Because I believe if we're able to break money silence, then we're able to live happier, healthier, and financially wealthier lives. So why should you break money silence? And what is it? Well, money silence is that money talk taboo that you've probably encountered in your life. It is that uncomfortable feeling you get when somebody asks you for your salary, when somebody wonders how much you paid for your car, or just wants to know how much something cost or how much you're saving or how much debt you're in. It's that, "Mm, boy, maybe that was rude or unnecessary in your head kind of thought. Well, money silence or money talk taboo, as it's more commonly called, really does get in the way of couples planning for their financial future. But before we get too into that, let's talk a little bit about money silence in general. Because if you identify with anything that I just said, you're not alone. 44% of Americans would rather talk about death, dying, or politics than talk about personal finance with somebody else. And when we survey women, we find that it's a little bit higher. 61% of women would rather talk about their own death than talk about finance with a loved one. It's sad, isn't it? It's just money. But certainly money reflects a lot of things and means a lot more than just a tool for trade as it was originally intended. So this money silence that's in our society, and by the way, it's in a lot of societies. It's pretty much a global phenomenon. We don't need to bother as to where it comes from because that's complicated and really not fit for a two-minute episode, but let's talk a little bit about how it might impact you in your partnership as you move towards planning for your retirement. Well, if you are not talking openly and honestly about money, it's probably hard to know what your partner envisions for retirement, what type of resources you want to put aside for retirement. And also thinking about how your behaviors need to stay the same or change as a result of whatever that retirement vision is. I see money silence hurting couples all the time. There's really a missed opportunity when you don't engage in financial conversations regularly with a partner to increase your intimacy, to learn more about that other person, and to just get curious as to how together you can join your financial lives and work together towards a common goal of enjoying life now and into the future. So during this week, I'm going to be talking about breaking money silence on couples in retirement. I'm going to offer you concrete tips for opening up the dialogue so you don't have to be hurt by money silence. And ultimately, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor and join the breaking money silence revolution, which is a call to action that I will reveal to you in episode five. So this is Kathleen Burns Kingsbury saying thank you for listening to this tip, and I look forward to talking to you soon.